I said the wrong one. Maybe not. I'm fairly certain. You had a 50-50 chance. It was Karen Cahill. There was a 99 and 100 chance of saying the right one. I said the wrong one. Why do you guys get worked into a lather over Karen Cahill? She's a very influential woman. You're a very influential man. She's a columnist. She gets the last word. You talk to lots of columnists. She has some kind of special powers. You think? Yeah. Well, maybe you didn't get it wrong. <laughs> I got it wrong. No, maybe there really are many nuclear weapons in Kyrgyzstan. There are barely pots and pans in Kyrgyzstan. You think New York Times is going to make fun of you? I do. Well, you got to be used to that by now, right? Yeah. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do something? You're gonna talk to her. I need to know her. You've met her. Well, we've been introduced. And you said you felt the two of you made a connection. That's true. Here's what we're gonna do. I connect with people, Sam. Yes. I'm a people person. That's great. You're going to the South Street exhibit tonight? How did you know? You told me. She's going too. How do you know? She told me. So there's quite a bit of reconnaissance work that went into this. Yes. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna go up to her. Hi, I'm Donna Moss. I don't know if you remember me. I'm Josh Lyman's assistant. You just had to come up to her because she knew she'd get a kick out of this. Sam Seaborn is being so cute. He was talking to you and he thinks he may have said Kyrgyzstan when he obviously meant Kazakhstan. Sam Seaborn's being so cute. Did it kill you? No. Thank you. You can lay down in front of the train or you can get on board. That's a really bad phrase. Is it better if it's you can get on board the train or you can lay down in front of it? No, it's really bad either way. Josh, this was delivered by messenger. What is it? It's wait, wait, no, damn, my x-ray vision is failing me today. Do that. How'd it go? Last night. Did you talk to her? Yes, I did, and I explained that you might have said Kyrgyzstan when, of course, you meant Kazakhstan. Didn't you say how it was cute the way I worried about it? I did. Did it turn out I got it wrong? She said she wasn't really listening while you were talking. Oh, okay. I, on the other hand, had a most stimulating conversation with her. It was pithy, it was erudite, and most of all, it required no next day follow-up explanation. Donna? What was in the envelope? Your underwear. What? I'm holding your underwear in my hand right now. And the way I know it's your underwear is that your name is sewn in the back, which obviously we'll spend some time talking about at a later date. How did you get my underwear? Donna, did you by any chance wear the same pair of pants two days in a row this week? No. Donna. Yes? Okay. When you got dressed on day two, did you check the pant leg for the previous day's underwear? I don't need to check the pant Donna. leg. <sighs> they fell out of my pants? It would appear that way. <sighs> Where? The South Street exhibit. Where? On the floor in front of Karen Cahill. Please tell me she's not the one. She sent a note. Brad and Ethel, would you follow me, please? She's talking about us. <laughs>